Hi, this is Chris Anthony, and in this video, we're going to be working with uh, this song Endless Praise by Planet Shakers. And we're going to take a look at how you can use the onboard styles of a Yamaha Arranger keyboard, like this PSR S670, to kind of recreate the sound and feel of a song like this. So let's just go back to the beginning of the song and have a little listen. Okay, so here we got a fairly simple pattern with just a, a kick drum, and then we're going to listen to how it builds and develops throughout the song. And there we have a more full drum pattern. It kind of goes back to the kick there for a little bit. It's a synth sound, synth solo sound comes in. goes into that really nice powerful part. So let's go back to the beginning of the song and we'll start working on uh, the first part here. I found a style already, uh, went through some of the onboard styles and I found a style uh, in the dance and R&B category and it's called club dance and I think it will be perfect for this song, have a listen. Okay, so let's have a listen to what happens at the beginning of the song because it's not a full on drum pattern like that. Okay, so you can hear it's really just a uh, kick drum and some bass and that synth. So let's go back to our pattern and see if we can make it more like what we're hearing in the song. So right away I hear there's too much drum in there. So let's go into our channel on off. And here I can turn off different parts of the style. You can see rhythm one, rhythm two, bass. So I'm going to turn off the two rhythm tracks. And I'm also going to turn off some of these other phrase and pad tracks over here. So I like that. And now we need that simple kick drum. And I can use the pads over here if I go into some of the drum loops. And uh, let's try something like house. This gives me a simple kick drum. I think that works great for that part of the song. So now I want to store all of those things that I've done in the memory of the instrument so I can recall them quickly when I need to. And I'm going to use the registration memories for that. And it's really simple. I want to put this in button number one. So I just press memory one. And that's it. It flashes for a couple of seconds and now it's stored whenever I need to play that section of the song. I just hit the one button and it sets up all that stuff that I just did. Okay, let's see what happens next. So we just get a much fuller uh, rhythm section and we can probably just turn back on the stuff we turned off. So let's press channel on off again. And here's the rhythm tracks we turned off. Let's turn those on again. Turn on the pad and the phrases and have a listen to that. So. I like that. So we can lock that into memory number two. Just press memory two and we've got it right there. All right, let's have a listen to the next section here. I'll roll forward a little bit. That's what we're seeing. So that's just the kick drum, which is like the first section that we say. There's that little synth sound that plays that. So we'll find a sound for that. First of all, let's go back to memory number one, which is the first thing we saved. And that should work for the rhythm section. And I just need a little synth sound. Let's go into our synth. Something like that. There's some solo sounds on this page, I think. Uh, let's try that. Oh, that'll, that'll work. That's a little sawtooth. That'll work for this. Let's try it. All right, that sounds great. So we can now lock that into memory number three, and we're ready to call that up for the touch of a button.
Let's listen to the next section. and uh, we could do something with that big synth sound in there but it's a big arrangement so let's go back to we already saved uh, memory 2 I think had something like this we could even use uh, variation D there and we need that big sound so let's try something in the synth family uh, let's go to page 1 try it what's Gemini a little bigger than that. Oh, this one's called Hands Up. Oh, that's perfect. Everybody's on their feet with their hands in the air. Let's try that with the style. Um. I think that's great. So we're going to store that in memory number four. So again, we press memory four, and it's ready to recall with the touch of a button. So we've made a few of these sections now, and they repeat throughout the course of the song. Let's uh, go about two-thirds of the way through and have a listen to something interesting that happens here. It was kind of old-school funky. And we can find something like that here. If I go into dance R&B, it's the category we're already in, and there's a style here called Funky House that I think would work for that. Let's try a different variation, maybe Main B. Pretty good. Or we could go even more old school. Let's go into the pop and rock family and try this one's called Funk Pop Rock. Have a listen. You can use the fills. I like that, so I'm going to lock that into button number five. This song has one last little stylistic trick left up its sleeve. Have a listen to what happens here. It's really cool. It goes into a halftime feel. And you might be thinking, well, there's no way we can do that with the style we're using. But I found another style that has the exact feel, or really, really close to it. It's called 90s Core Ballad, here in the Ballad family. And have a listen, it already has pretty much the feel that we're looking for. And we can make it a little more powerful. Let's uh, turn up the volume of the drums. I'm just going into the mixer panel here. And I want to have something on the left hand. They had a, a nice little clangy guitar in there. So let's put a sound on the left hand side. That'll work, I think. Yeah, just a distortion guitar, add in the style. Bill. And we'll store that into memory number six. So now we've created our registration memories for all the different sections of the song, and we can switch between those as we need to. Um, let's just go to the end of the song, see how it finishes. <laughs> Okay, that's basically the same as one of the sections we created earlier, which I think was memory four, registration four. And we just need something for how it ends. So let's try using ending one. Ending one is a, a short ending. It always finishes within the first measure, and it just gives you a really nice, clean, professional way to finish the song. So let's try that. If you want to get much closer to what's in the song, we could just stop the drums manually, maybe use a break or a fill. Let's try that. And we just stop the drums manually. All right, let's put it all together and see what we've got. So we'll go back to number one.
so there you have it. Endless Praise by Planet Shakers, performed by the style section on the incredible Yamaha PSR S670. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Lord.